senior officials from the respective training academies, officers and trainees of the different services present here, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to interact with the young officers and trainees of Indian Police Service, Indian Revenue Service, Indian Postal Service, Indian Railway Account Service, and Indian Radio Regulatory Service. First of all, I congratulate you all for clearing the prestigious competitive examinations conducted by UPSC and completing the major part of your training. I am told that some of you are already posted as officers. I am also told that two officer trainees of Bhutan Royal Service are also present here today. I welcome both the officers. Dear young officers, you all have been selected for the positions carrying highest responsibility. The governance system has huge confidence in your capabilities to implement the policies of national significance and thereby shape the future of the people. In your respective services, you are expected to follow citizen-centric approach while taking decision. Be aware of your goals and actions. You should align your goals and aims with the broader goals of the nation. I am told that officers and trainees present here are from diverse social, economic, and cultural backgrounds. I am sure you would have gained immensely from each other during your training. Interactions during your training must have been vibrant and interesting. Dear officers training of Indian Police Service, Indian Postal Service, Indian Railway Account Service, I am told that you are a group of 35 officers undergoing special foundations course at Haryana Institute of Public Administration, Gurugram. I am sure that the professional knowledge and the orientation for efficient administration that you gain there will enable you to discharge your duties more efficiently and effectively. I am told that most of you being the science and technology backgrounds, as we all know, this is the era of technology. There is immense scope of innovation in the field of administration and governance. Technology can be used to make governance more and more effective, speedy, transparent, and people-oriented. Dear officer trainees of Indian Revenue Service, you are joining a service that plays a vital role in collection of resources for the government. The government requires and utilizes these resources for undertaking its programs and projects, thus leading to the progress and development of the country. I am told that 75th batch of Indian Revenue Service comprises 49 officer trainees, including two officer trainees from Bhutan Royal Service. I am happy to know that 16 states and UTs are represented in your bench. The officer trainees in the bench are from diverse educational backgrounds, such as engineering, medical service, commerce, and law. I am told that one third of the officer trainees are from rural background. Your experience and knowledge of rural India will enable you to adopt more inclusive approach in your way of work. You must remember that your twin role is to facilitate compliance of tax laws by taxpayers and also contribute to overall credible deterrence against tax evasion. Communications with taxpayers should be made more respectful and system should move towards voluntary compliance. I am confident that you will perform your duties with commitment and dedication. 
Faceless assessment scheme of Government of India is aimed towards bringing more transparency in governance. I also advise the young officer trainees to acquaint themselves with the new faceless environment. I am sure you will work hard to acquire and develop the knowledge and skill required for performing your job in upcoming decades. Dear officers of Indian Railway Regulatory Service, the functions of Indian Radio Regulatory Service are very significant and have gained greater importance to recent in recent years. The allocation of spectrum licenses, conducting spectrum action, and providing necessary clearness, clearances are some of your major responsibilities. In the digital environment, adequate access of spectrum is necessary for expanding telecommunication networks and addressing the rising demands for data services. Mobile phones have now become a part and parcel of our life. Personal as well as professional communications are done through mobile phones. India has already welcomed 5G, which is the fifth generation mobile phone technology. All this wireless communication is possible only with efficient spectrum management. I am sure you will do your job with utmost sincerity and will bring in new ideas and technologies for making and implementing relevant policies. Dear officers, I have observed that the strength of lady officers in these services has increased in recent years. But I would like to say that this is not enough and I wish to hire number of lady officers in all such services in coming years. In the end, I would like to highlight that every segment of population should keep in mind the interest of the poorest of the poor. Age public policy is a tool for social justice. Public servants are the agents of social change. You have chosen public services as your career. Therefore, always remember that you are here to serve the nation and serve the people. I once again extend my best wishes to all the officers and trainees of various services present here today for a bright future and successful careers ahead. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bhattar.